Form theatre is a technique in drama which is used to explore different themes and issues. Basically what happens is a short scripted piece is performed and then stops at a crisis point. The production is then handed over to the audience who discuss possible outcomes and scenarios which will look at alternate endings to the piece. The suggestions that the audience make are then improvised out by the actors and this leads to further discussion in relation to the possible outcomes and consequences of the decisions which the characters have made. Due to the current public health crisis, the project could not be run out as a live event. Hence, the scenes have been filmed and alternate endings have also been created. Your task is to watch the original videos and then discuss with your group or class the possible endings or outcomes that you think might happen before looking at the alternate endings that we have recorded. The following short video is called Down and looks at issues surrounding possible signs of mental health issues in young people. Sam, is your dad here? Listen, it's nearly 11, you said you'd be back by half nine. Look, if, if you can't be trusted to come home when you say you're going to come home, then you'll not be allowed out on a school night, all right? Just, just, just give me a call when you get this message. And uh, send me a text if you need left it. No, I don't want mega fat burning pills at 30% of the retail price. I want my son back safe and sound. Yes, Dad. Yes, Dad. Yes, Dad is all you have to say to me. Oh, don't start. Don't start? You're lucky I don't finish. Just leave me alone, will you? Sure I'm home, aren't I? Oh, you're home, but have you seen the time? It's after 11, you were meant to be here by half nine. I've saved your dinner for you. I'm not hungry. You're not hungry? You're always hungry. I'm not hungry, all right? I had a burger at Ali's. Right. Right. Grand. I didn't know you were at Ali's, all right? Just have it tomorrow. Stick it in the microwave. Right, okay. Is the interrogation over? Sam, I'm your da. I just worry about you when you don't come home when you say you will. You stop going on at me. I don't they deserve this. Sam is a distraction in class. Sam has to be separated from others. Sam hasn't handed in any homework. What was he doing there? Where's his work? Ah, hello, Stephen. Hi, hi, it's Michael Thompson here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's late. Uh, listen, I just uh, I, I wanted to thank you for letting Sam come over work with Ali. You know, just I struggles with some of the things, and it's good to have somebody there to. Right. Um, no, no, no. He told me it was it was, it was with Ali now. Aye. Aye, if you wouldn't mind, go and check him there. Yeah, yeah, if you would check, that'd be, that'd be great. Thanks. Right. No, no, I definitely. Well, I, I must have misheard him then. Aye, he's probably with another friend or something. Just, uh... <laughs> aye, aye. Hard to keep track of. Listen, uh, listen, sorry to bother you. Uh, cheers, good night. Hi. Yeah, whatever. What's going on? What do you mean? 
Your dad rang in our house last night. What for? To say thanks for letting you come over. What did you say? It wasn't me he spoke to. It was my dad. What did he say? Take it easy, Sam. Don't lose your temper with me. You can go and find all the new friends you want outside school, but don't look for your old friends to cover up for you. I haven't got any friends outside school. Well, the way you're going on at the moment, you certainly don't have any around here. Just leave me alone, all right? With pleasure, Sam. But don't you go saying you're at my house so you don't have to tell your dad where you really are, right? Whatever. School's this way? Yeah, right. Where have you been? Late again? I suppose you're going to tell me you were back at Ali's, eh? Dad. No! I'm in no mood for you. I phoned the school and your head teacher sent me an email and it's, it's a list of, of missed homeworks and, and failed tests and some incident where, where you were fighting. I don't believe this. I do everything I can for you and this is how you repay me. Is it? Whatever. Go to your room! But I don't think I want to see you tonight. Sam? What? Look, why can't you just leave me alone? Look, uh, Is everything all right in school, son? Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Just stop getting on at me, all right? Look, I'm not getting on at you. You just, you just always seem to be in a bad mood. I, I just wanted to know if there was anything bothering you. I'm grand. Any, anything I can help you with? No, seriously, Dad. I'm grand, all right? Um, right. Um, look, Dad, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the chippy. Do you want anything? I'm not hungry. Look at a cheeseburger, eh? Whatever. You sure there's nothing you want to talk about? You wouldn't understand. Hi, Alan. Hi. I noticed you weren't in class again this afternoon. Well, I hope you'll not be expecting me to cover for you again. I won't. Look, I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Look, Sam, is something up? It's plain to see that something is up, but nobody can do anything to help you if you aren't going to open up about it. I'm not a mind reader. I'm grand. Oh, is that because of these new mates you found? I haven't got any new mates. Then where are you spending all your time? Walking. Just walking and thinking. What about? I miss my mum. That must be terrible. I'm sorry. But my dad doesn't want to talk about her, so I just don't mention it. I know he's upset too. Look, Sam, come on and we go back to yours and we can talk on the way, okay? Thanks, Ali. <laughs> 